Hello people and welcome to the third video on how to build an Airbus in Plasticity from scratch. For this particular one I'll be working on flaps, however that'll be just a temporary flap. What I want to do is create like a placeholder for my flap and next I'm going to turn it into a nicer one. So let's switch over to the top view and I'm going to turn my reference on. And as you can see the trailing edge is quite bent. Uh, I told you that in my first video. What I'm gonna do now is just cut it and delete it. So let's grab the line tool and just draw a line like this. No fillet here, just sharp angles like those. Right click to commit, hit C on the keyboard, hold on shift and select the wing and just cut it and delete it. Okay, so what I want to do now is select this edge and this edge and I'm going to hit Shift D to get curves then select this one and this and Shift D again and then I'm going to loft them, this two hit L on the keyboard, as you can see we've lost the curvature, right? So just hold down Shift key and pick the guides to recover the curvature of the wing Okay, that's nicer and really straight. Let's go ahead and this time I'm going to create spoilers. Those two. So let's grab the line tool and just continue extending this line here. Just follow the black lines. Okay, now let's cut the wing. So select this guy here, hit C and select the wing. Okay, now we want to cut the spoiler as well. I'm just selecting all the curves now and I'm going to put them inside their folder. And that's important to keep the outliner neat and clean. So let's go ahead, I'm just going to isolate my flap. And I'm going to hit Ctrl R and because I want to split this into parts. So hit Ctrl R to make the isoparam tool active. As you can see I can add the segments here and down here. That allows me to select this face then hold down the shift key and hit delete. There we go. Next step is I'm going to give my wing a little bit of thickness and I'd recommend you to copy that value and paste it into a text file because you just want to give your wing the same thickness all across the surface. <clears throat> Hope you don't mind guys, my voice is getting lower and lower. I'm really sorry for that. I'm happy with that. So just double click on this, control C, and just create a text file and I'm going to paste it right here. So now let's thicken spoilers and flaps. I'm going to use exactly the same value. There we go, now the wing is no longer a shit, but rather it's a solid. Uh, so let's give it a try and rotate them, just hit E on the keyboard and snap the pivot there by hitting V. So what I want to do now, I'm going to create the slat, which is this one on the leading edge. 
let's go to the top view and let me show my reference this one right here All right, let's start to fill it a few things here. Uh, so let's select this guy here. I think I'm going to isolate it. Perfect. And just select those loops here, including those little corners. There we go. So let me show everything now. And just fill it in just a little bit, guys. It should barely be visible. And so double click on this and just hit Control C to copy it and paste it inside the text file. So I just need to do the same here and just make sure to select the corners. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to fill it this as well, but just to get an idea of what they look like, like I said, I'm going to create spoilers and flaps in place. And so I'm going to replace this later on. So let me speed up the video and I'll catch up on with you in a bit. All right, so we have flaps, slats, spoilers. We can go ahead and I'll catch you in the next video.